Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to solve the challenges in validation rules module. And we start with the challenge one that is get started with validation rules. Click on that. Then scroll down to the last. So here we can see that these are the task details and we need to complete this task. And before we start, we need to change this hands on org for that click on these three dots and from here select it as my trailhead playground one then click on this launch button so from this page we need to move to the setup page further click on this gear icon and then click on this setup button so now the page looks like this and the task is about we need to create a case validation rule and in that the engineering requirement number field should be accept numerical values only and for writing the formula we can use the is number function not and is blank functions so let's start this task and in this setup page move to this object manager and then in the quick find search for case so just click on that case now scroll down to the last here we can see that the validation rules button click on that then click on this new button now copy the rule name from the instructions that is case 001 engineering requirement numeric copy it and then paste it over here then we need to add the description for that move to instructions then Copy it from here. Determine the formula to restrict and up to this formula. Then add it over here. Now we need to write this error condition formula. So I already written the formula somewhere else. So I am just pasting it. And I will add this formula in the comment section also. Copy from that. And after adding the formula, we need to click on this check syntax button. Click on that. So here we can see that no errors found message then we need to add this error message for that move to instructions then copy it then add it over here and in this error location click on this field and then select here as engineering requirement number so like this we added all the required ones and click on this save button So we completed creating the validation rule, move to the instruction space and click on this check challenge button. So yeah, the task is completed and we got the 500 points. In this video, we are going to solve the challenge 2 in validation rules module. And the name of the challenge is implement best practices. Click on that. Then scroll down to the last. From this hands on or click on this launch button. Then you will be redirected to this page. And from here we need to move to the setup page. Further click on this gear icon and click on this setup. Then the page looks like this. Now the task is about creating the validation rule in the lead object. And we need to create the formula for the field should accept either the email or phone when the lead object is created or edited. So for that we need to create the formula. So to complete this task, move to the setup page and from here click on this object manager and in the quick find search for lead L-E-A-D then click on it. Now scroll down to the last and click on this validation rules button. Now click on this new, copy the rule name from the instructions, then paste it here. Now we need to add the description, move to the instruction space and copy it from determine the formula and up to has been changed. Then add it here. Now we need to write this error condition formula. So I already written the formula. I am just pasting it here. 
and i will add this formula in the comment section so copy from there and after adding the formula click on this check syntax button so here we can see that we got no errors found message finally we need to add the error message for that move to instruction space and then copy either email or phone or required then paste it here so finally click on this save button so like this we created the validation rule in the lead object go to the instruction space and click on this check challenge button so yeah we got the 500 points In this video we are going to solve the last challenge in validation rules module and the name of the challenge is bypass your validation rule click on that then scroll down to the last first of all we need to launch the org further click on this launch button then you will be redirected to this page from this click on this gear icon and then click on this setup button then the page looks like this now the task is about first of all we need to create a custom permission so move to the setup page and in this quick find search for custom permission click on that now click on this new button so copy the label from the instructions that is bypass case validation rules first of all add it in the name field then add the same in the label also now click on this save then we need to create a permission set for that in the setup page quick find search for permission set click on that then here click on this new button now copy the label from the instructions that is bypass case validation rules copy that and then add in the label field now click on this save button then we need to assign the custom permission to this permission set for that in this apps click on this custom permissions then click on this edit button and then click on this bypass case validation rules and click on this add button so finally click on save so we added the custom permission also and then we need to create the case validation rule so in the setup move to this object manager and in the quick find search for case click on that scroll down to the last and then click on this validation rules then click on new so we need to add the rule name copy from the instructions then add it here and then we need to add the description so copy from this build a formula and up to this validation rule and then we need to write this error condition formula so i already written the formula i am just pasting it here and i will add this formula in the comment section also copy from that and after adding the formula click on this check syntax button so here we can see that we got no errors found message and finally we need to add this error message copy it from the instructions that is cases that are closed cannot be reopened then add it here and we need to add the error location as status 
So finally click on save. So like this we added the case validation rule also. Finally click on this check challenge button. So yeah we got the validation rules batch and we completed the whole module without any errors. And please check the channel for remaining modules and super batch answers. Please share the channel with your friends. That's it. Thank you.